Hey, Diana here. Welcome to the studio and to this sweet little card I did for the Joggles blog design team project recently. I'll leave a link below. Uh, this is uh, connected to a video I put up recently that I'll link up in the corner there uh, for Distress Oxide inks. I've been playing with just a few. I got a few of them to try them out and I did the wrinkle-free technique for the background for these cards and I'm now try trying a little watercoloring. That's the ice spruce I'm using on Sam the Owl's wings there. I just love that guy. He's so funny. I had just dipped my journal into that little puddle. That's what you saw there. Now, you're going to see as soon as I hit that uh, that swipe of cracked pistachio uh, ink, you see that little blob of that's much lighter. And that's, that's what happens with these inks. When you uh, hit them with water, they begin to have this reaction. And it's really cool. I'm... I'm a believer. <laughs> I like the distress inks. I might suggest that you use instead of a craft mat. I like working on a craft mat, but as a palette, if you don't have, um, if you have a piece of plastic and put a piece of white paper under it, or a plastic envelope and put the paper into it, you'll see the color better. Now I'm just taking a zig clean color real brush marker. I, I do really like these markers a lot. I've pretty much just gone to using them, but it, anything else works. Uh, the Tombos are great. The Distress markers are very good. Hey, Crayolas work. Uh, whatever you have in your stash, uh, and, the, and the Crayolas and Prang markers are water soluble as well. So you can use them in the same way with that water uh, brush. And now I've got uh, some gold pen action going there. And here comes the uh, red zig. And this is, <laughs> I kind of messed up here. I did want to show you how about this brush a little bit. If you're not familiar, you can see there that it is bristles. And uh, I love these pens. Anyway, a little Sammy's red pocket is going to blend out once I use the uh, wet brush right next to it. So uh, I advise you to be careful. And here I am off camera a little bit using that cracked pistachio. And you'll see the beautiful blending of the red pocket into the green and uh, what I do to remedy that is just add some more red to other areas you know if you make a mistake uh, just just embrace it and go go with it uh, yeah so uh, actually I thought it, it it sometimes winds up being more interesting see there we go darn it <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, darn it, and then I'm thinking, well, I'll add more red. So I just picked up that red color and added it here and there into the rest of Sammy's shirt. Yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. Now I've got, uh, I think, yeah, it's an 01 Micron, any kind of thin black pen, and I'm just going to sort of brighten up his eyes a little bit uh, just to draw more attention to that so carefully trace around and I'm I decided to do the eyelashes and even add a little bit of um, uh, white into that as you'll see in the Phoenix pictures I'm just adding a little highlight to his eyes with my white pen here. I'm just making sure it works okay in my art journal that I just keep that next to me while I'm working and now I'm using I think that was a two and a half inch 
then I have a little smudge there but that's okay because I'm going to do some blending with the Distress Oxide inks and starting off the mat and then lightly going into that circle and uh, these you'll find these Distress inks a lot easier to blend they're they're really much more wet and and sit on the surface easier to blend I'm going to put things together now I have grabbed a piece of the wrinkle-free distress cards that I did in a previous video and uh, just another piece of pattern paper here. And here I'm just cutting a piece of uh, some juicy pear cardstock. I cut it to, uh, what is that, five and a half by eight and a half and now I scored it at four and a quarter using my paper cutter. I have yet another piece of the Distress Oxide paper. I'm, I just sat down and played and made a whole bunch of it and I recommend uh, doing that. You wind up with a bonus of pieces of paper to work with and I'm just cutting them into little triangles. I, I do love my banners. I do. I, they're very celebratory. <laughs> And so I'm just cutting those off into little triangles. I decided they needed a little edging, so I'm just going to use that iced spruce again to edge these banner triangles. To glue those little triangles down, this is a nice little tip. Uh, just squirt some matte medium or whatever strong glue down on a little piece of paper and run them through there. I learn uh, run the top of them the triangle through. I like to leave the bottom open for just a little more texture uh, dimension on the card. I did wipe away a little bit of glue here and now I'm just going to really brayer them down with a piece of wax paper so they don't come up. So there we have the card on that nice green paper. I love that bright punch of color and uh, a piece of paper from Tim Holt, one of the Tim Holtz uh, scrapbook pads and then the Tim Holtz clippings. It is a Tim Holtz day. Um, and then all of it has been attached, a little circular element bleeding off of the left hand side and Sam sort of looking up at the sentiment and I do like these clippings. It's, it's um, a new set of stickers from Tim Holtz and they have great words on them. I think you could use uh, these in conjunction with words you find to make some great found poetry and I'm using one inside and I, oops, I am not putting that down without using my tea, plastic tea ruler uh, just to make sure I get that straight. I'm, I'm the queen of putting things on crooked. Uh, pretty good eye but it's not always that dr I f keep forgetting to re-adhere uh, my craft mat to my table. So adding a bit more of silver ink because I love using this pen. If no, no other reason than I love using the pen. Use what you have as usual and enjoy it. And there's the little snail card I made as well. Link I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel if you like this video and certainly give me a big old thumbs up. I'll leave links to the Joggles post and to my blog. I have some more videos somewhere. I can't find it right now. So I'll hopefully discover that and be back. Bye gang. Thanks for coming today.